So this is one of three of my $100,000 uh, accounts that I own. Guys, I've built all these up from nothing, okay? I built these up on a blue collar salary. This is gonna be the joint uh, brokerage account that I own that has uh, been newly established. You guys are gonna to wanna to stick around as I cover some of the speculation, some of the dividend growth in the portfolio. And uh, you're gonna see what's possible in investing. Guys, stick around. So I roll these uh, portfolio reviews out periodically with a couple different intents. And I think for new investors that uh, are interested in investing, but they don't know how to start and they don't even understand maybe what is possible in investing. Um, I'm one of those simple fellows that work a regular job. So I think it resonates with a lot of people and people can sit back and be like, wow, if this guy can do it, so can I. And that's absolutely the message that I want to put through. And these are big numbers that we're working with, guys. But make no mistake about it, man. I started these accounts with zero. I started from scratch. I've built this up. I've invested wealth, built these accounts up. So it's a lot of fun to sit back for a 10-minute tutorial and understand um, this is this is just one of uh, three brokerage accounts that I do have. This is being the largest one that I have. But uh, we're going to jump you into the account and I'm going to walk you through each of the holdings uh, at the time of review of this. So stick around, guys. It's going to be an awesome, awesome opportunity for you. All right, guys. So this is uh, one of three taxable brokerage accounts. Um, this is the largest of the three. Um, this is actually a joint brokerage account. So uh, I roll these uh, reviews out periodically so you can kind of see how uh, each of the holdings are performing over this. I uh, haven't done one of these for a long, long time. But um, this really does supplement and complement the other two self-directed Roth IRA accounts that I have. Um, this had a couple strategic goals in it. I wanted growth and dividends uh, in here. Uh, I wanted some bulk uh, holdings in utilities, which I'll cover those as well because I don't want to own bonds. So I'll earmark those uh, companies when I come to them. You'll see that those are a little bit larger positions, which have done very, very well in the last couple of weeks, specifically since the last time we rolled out these um, the review of the brokerage account anyway. Um, but uh, I'm satisfied with the performance in this portfolio. Uh, couldn't be happier. Um, we just had the S1 filing on the Hylion warrant. So this right here uh, is one of those that we're going to be monitoring closely. And you guys are going to want to follow along with that. How this holding changes over time. Uh, as I look to redeem those warrants for common shares. That's why you'll see here I've got a $5,000 bill up here. Um, which should help with the premium. If I need to do a liquidation, I will to help fund that um, $11.50 premium that'll be due uh, to convert the Hylion shares uh, to uh, common shares of the stock. You can see here that I've got um, 1,000 warrants right now in this account. I do hold Hylion warrants in the other two accounts as well. We'll chronicle those holdings as we get to them. But for the remainder of this portfolio review, um, you'll see here a strategic um, angle on getting some big, uh, large cap, mega cap tech exposure, uh, some growth in here, and then of course some dividend growth. And I'll point those out as we go through, but obviously here Apple Computers has done well. This is a great staple, great cornerstone in this portfolio. It's the only place I own Apple. It's one of those stocks that are nice to just buy and hold and never sell. And uh, 50 share position here is, is nice and appropriate for what I'm trying to do in this portfolio. And that's give myself a nice compliment to the other, uh, to the other accounts that I have uh, and maybe um, hold some stuff in here that I don't want to own in the other accounts. And then Amazon as well, two whole shares with a, a whopping $6,400 in those two shares of Amazon. Really glad to own this company. 
and then right below it, Bank of America along the dividend growth strategy side of the house. Nice, sizable position in B of A. I'm just happy to own the shares here at uh, just over 151 shares, staring down 152. All the dividend holdings in this for your interest is established on a dividend uh, reinvestment program as all of my dividend payers are set up that way. Um, Bristol Myers has been on quite a round trip here, ticker symbol BMY. One of my favorites in the healthcare sector, just over 50 shares. Nice, respectable position at uh, just over 3,000. Um, just a, a small marginal loss on uh, Bristol Myers. CVS is a little bit larger loss, um, but uh, probably one of my, if not one of my many favorites in healthcare. It's really one of my favorite sectors to invest in. I really enjoy it. We'll continue to rack in the huge dividend on CVS. It really helps embolden my dividend income. We're off just a few bits. We were up initially in the position and it's tailored traced back a bit. It has retraced and that that's fine. I worry not about this. It fits really nicely into this as I've got some of the big pharma within the Roths. And so this, this just fits nicely into this aspect of the taxable brokerage. And then what I was talking about with the utilities holdings, Duke really does anchor my desire to have some uh, specific holdings in uh, the utilities. Now, I do own the specialty ETF from Vanguard for utilities within the Roth IRA. You will see that in there when I chronicle those holdings. But this really does give me a couple strategic advantages. Number one, it pays a 4% yield. It gives me the shot at some capital appreciation. Now, Duke Energy just last month was down maybe $1,200. So it has swung significantly to the, um, to the positive, up 5%. I just cannot tell you how, how incredible this is to meet both of those because not only am I getting a nice dividend reinvestment here in Duke Energy, I've got a fairly sizable position in the company. And again, it does supplement for my desire not to own bonds and to own something a little bit more stable, which I think regulate, regulated utilities fit that bill for me and, and up close to 600 bucks. I just cannot scoff at this. This is it's doing exactly what I wanted it to do and then some. So couldn't be more pleased with that position. Uh, Facebook here speaks for itself. Uh, size, uh, nice, uh, respectable position at 10 shares. Uh, no problem at all, up marginally, close to 5% in the in the name. Uh, Facebook is a nice addition to this portfolio. And we'll continue to own Facebook long uh, in here and, and, and continue, to, um, continue to enjoy what I think is one of the best growth and value stories at a very, very reasonable valuation here. Facebook really fits the bill um, for how uh, impressive their balance sheet is. Uh, how much cash flow the company is bringing in. They, they are making money hand over fist. And uh, it's, it's really tough to hold a portfolio as large as mine and not justify having at least a small position in Facebook, which 10 shares does represent um, that, that small desire of mine to have a piece of the company. Next on the list in uh, defense, a subsector of uh, industrials, general dynamics, we're off pretty significantly in these. The um, defense sector has been up and down pretty violently, to be honest with you. It's been interesting to monitor it. Um, and uh, we're, we're off a few bits. That's fine. Nice dividend yielder here. Um, we've got those uh, payments going back into the underlying stock, and we'll continue to own these. General Dynamics not going anywhere. We'll continue to own it long. And, and then IBM here, um, which has really just been disappointing again. Um, I don't know what to say here. You know, it'll continue to pay the nice dividend, um, but but sooner or later, this is going to catch fire here in, in old tech. It, it really does satisfy my desire to grab some higher than average dividend yield in this portfolio, and we'll continue to own it long. Lockheed Martin as well off, just like General Dynamics. Real surprise here, but um, over time, Lockheed Martin is going to be one of those companies this actually is a very large position. 20 shares in Lockheed is, is nothing to shake a stick at, uh, just over 7,500 in the name. Off 500, six bits, no big deal at all. 
We'll continue to own it long. MO, ticker symbol, Altria Group here. Uh, fairly nice position here. Another dividend um, a dividend uh, payer here. Uh, I believe Altria is a king for sure. So it's nice to have that uh, to the add to the bottom line of the yearly dividend income that I'm yielding uh, off of this stock four times per year. Microsoft again with the theme and big tech. Uh, up a little tad, tad just over 4% uh, percent in the company. Um, a, a tortoise acquisition, this is uh, um, their number two offering. So I've got a little speculation play here. Fairly sizable position, no doubt about it, off just a little bit. They're not gonna, we're not gonna expect any movement in this at all until they announce where they're going with that funding opportunity that they're um, currently exploiting. And I've heard no news on this at all outside of just one sentence. Um, that's the only piece of information, but my bet here is on um, the um, the tortoise uh, group there with Vince Cubbage and, and what he's able to put together um, with regard to their, um, their pipe funding uh, opportunity and bringing these new companies to bear as they've just brought highly on uh, public uh, just less than 30 days ago. So Southern Company goes along with the philosophy of Duke Energy. Um, so another really nice big position and it's run up with Duke. So man, we're starting the share accumulation base in here and we're, we're real excited to see this go. I really don't care so much about this capital appreciation. If I cared, I would sell the stock but I don't. I care more about the dividend growth and it meeting a strategic objective in this portfolio in lieu of bonds. And then finally, you could put this in the same camp, to be honest with you, AT&T. Instead of owning bonds, I own a $5,600 bill in AT&T stock, just over 200, uh, 200 shares. Um, so we'll sit on that fat dividend and I'd rather go that route with low interest rates. I'm not really not that interested in owning bonds right here. So these satisfy some of those um, companies that really are safe. They're big. They do cash flow nicely and they can support their dividend. AT&T um, really does fit the bills here. So just over 92000 so fairly sizable. This is the biggest brokerage account I own. We are obviously off on a couple names. That's totally fine. You guys will want to stay tuned and track those positions forward. Um, as I, I don't sugarcoat this, this is what it is. This is the portfolio, one of my three larger accounts that I do own. And uh, we'll kick you back to YouTube and we will conclude the video. Thanks, guys. So we've come out of the joint brokerage account, guys. I really hope you appreciate it. I, I thank you for spending some time with me. Uh, I'm very proud of the, these wealth building accounts. I really am. I, I don't necessarily um, save money uh, to, to show off or any of that. I'm looking to build my financial uh, security and future. That, that's really it. And the reason why I started this channel is to share the message with those folks out there that don't think that they can. Uh, I'm here to tell you um, that you absolutely can. I'm, there's nothing special about what I do. And if I could do it all over again, it would really just be to avoid some of the mistakes that I made early on. And that's part of the message that I want people to get from my channel is to sit across from me and say, man, this, this is pretty impressive. What this guy has done, I can do that. How do I get started? We provide a lot of those answers on the channel for sure for a lot of new investors or maybe even investors that have been doing it a while, um, but maybe they want to take a little bit of a change, a course correction uh, in, in the direction that they feel like they're going. Guys, if it's your first time to the message, you want to make sure and subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, leave your comments at the bottom of this video as well and share the message with anybody out there that you know may relate with the message, folks out there that are lost in their investing application, man, bring them onto the channel. I, I'm not looking to um, be, be the shepherd for people. What I'm trying to do is teach people how to teach themselves and be the best advocate for their own financial stewardship that they can possibly be. Guys, thank you so much for tuning into the message. Good luck in your investment future.